this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns coming at you another gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. So I want to appreciate y'all for coming over here today. I appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate the ones who come over here and helping out the first time buyer, new people in the 2A community. We need them people to keep growing so we can keep fighting all the you know um infringement on the second amendment and stuff so we need to keep that going with the long-term mindset we have over here and i appreciate the ones who um pretty much smash the like button share on your favorite social media platforms support your gun channels people your two-way channels that are pushing us further down in the algorithm and stuff um also i want to appreciate the ones following me on gun streamer um tick tock and other channels and stuff i got out there so i appreciate that and a huge shout out to y'all that come over here every single day through the good and the bad and ups and downs Nothing moves in a straight line, people. So you already know what time it is. Let's get into it. Guess what? Ammo, ammo, ammo time, people. It's ammo time. Ammo is the new goal. I'm talking about everybody's still trying to get it, people. I'm talking about it's a lot of money. Millions and millions, probably billions of dollars been spent on ammo in this country and stuff like that. So that is a it is a big thing right now. But also it's very huge is, you know, you're spending all this money on your ammo. We talked about it before. Still a lot of people asking questions about this. And you got to take care of it, people. You have to take care of your ammo and everything. Because if not, you sit it somewhere, and guess what? The ammo, the ammo will be ruined. I have seen ruined ammo if you put it in the wrong place and stuff like that. And a lot of people is talking about storing that, storing the ammo and stuff. And it's very cost effective. It don't cost you a whole lot. We're going to get into it, people. And guess what? Let's get into it. So we're here. And, you know, we're going to get into this ammo situation and everything. And, you know, we're going to just talk about storing your ammo, people. It is very important that you store your ammo properly and everything. And, you know, this video, you know, was sparked by some, you know, new people coming into the Twitter community comments and a lot of stuff I've been getting and stuff. Um, someone um, bought some ammo last year, um, you know, you know, early last year, I think it was around um, June or something. They said they, they bought it and they put it somewhere, someone home and they come back. It was messed all up. It was damp and stuff like that. So that is a huge no, no and stuff. People, you know, we talk about that all the time. You have to put ammo where it's dry. Don't put it where it's going to accumulate a whole lot of moist and stuff like that. I'm talking about whether it's in a box, bag, whatever the case may be, you have to take certain precautions. Now, it's very cost effective. Um, that is another thing a lot of people is worrying about price and stuff when it comes to storing the ammo. I know you've seen a lot of glamorous stuff out there. You know, if you can do those things, fine. But, you know, for starters and stuff, this is just for the beginner starter. There are more advanced um, things you can do when it comes to uh, trying to preserve your ammo and everything. Now, I know a lot of people get them um, vacuum seal uh, machines and bags and stuff and, you know, and, and vac vacuum the ammo and stuff and get all the air and stuff out of it. That is great. If you can get that type of stuff, that is good. But um, to my, there's other little simple basic things that we can do um, for starters, especially the new people coming in and everything. Very simple people. And so you see the ammo and stuff that we have and, you know, we want to take care of it. We want it to last us for a very long time. Um, we don't want to, you know, to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars and then ruin it because we failed to uh, put it up safely. So you want to be in a room that is dry. You want to keep it in some type of storage container or something. Um, I've seen people keeping them in totes. All, it's all kinds of ways you can do that, people. Ammo cans, stuff like that. There's many ways you can do it. But we're going to just go over some of the basics for starters. And it don't cost you much to start up. And that is a, a big problem that a lot of people, we got to focus on the new people. You know, so the card up, the, I mean, the, the startup cost is going to be very, you know, in a uh, very effective that I'm about to talk about. So these right here, these are desiccant bags. Now you can get these somewhere everywhere. Um, to my, there's an unlimited amount of places you can get these. Your gun shops and stuff, gun shows, um, your retailers, academies, Cabela's, Bass Pro, Dunham's. It's so many. I can keep going on and on places that have these right here. And you can get them online, eBay, Amazon. You can order these right here. Um, and they, they help out a lot. You know, if you buy clothes, shoes and stuff, you find a little desiccant bags, use them. Um, very cost effective people. You can use them. I'm quite sure some of y'all probably got some now who are just starting out and want to store your ammo and stuff. Now, 
typically, even if you want to keep your ammo in the box and everything, you want to keep it in the box, still it doesn't hurt to throw these desiccant packs in some type of container and stuff like that because that'll suck all the moisture and stuff out that's in the container and whatever that's in there or whatever. So, you know, right here, this right here is the, the biggest um, thing that, you know, you want to pretty much, this is probably about the biggest purchase here. These are um, Ziploc bags. Um, you can get different size, quarts, half quarts, whatever, half little small bags and stuff. And you know, these great value bags right here. Walmart great value bags. Um, you need a little simple marker, very cheap. Um, that's, that's pretty much all you need right there. And these little desiccant bags, people. And we're gonna demonstrate that. We're gonna demonstrate how simple it is, people. Very easy and stuff. Um, you're gonna get your little bag like this right here. And what you're gonna do, people, we're gonna just show you because some, a lot of people are saying, well, demonstrate and show me how I'm talking about. And you know, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take time out for the new people and stuff. You know, they're spending all this money on ammo. And I think, you know, we're gonna, you know, we need to just show. Cause you know, when I first came into a community, you know, I was told it wasn't too much out there to show. It came along and everything. But you know, all you're gonna do, get your little Ziploc bag right here, whatever size you want to get. Now, some of these bags can hold 100, 150, 200, 250, maybe 300 rounds. All depends on the caliber and stuff like that. But, you know, I don't want to, I don't fill them up too much. You know, I just fill up enough where I'm, I'm still getting a, a nice crease and fold and stuff. You can get all the air and stuff out. So, you know, just, we're going to pour some 9mm in this bag. So we're going to pour the 9mm in the bag right here. And, you know, these right here, when you get rid of these, the boxes and stuff, keep your boxes, people. You never know. Keep your boxes. You never know. Just keep them and stuff like that. Don't toss them away and stuff because you never know. You might buy you some loose ammo or something that you want to put in a box or something and carry it to the range, whatever case may be. I'm talking about, but they come, it's it just many things that you can do with these. So don't just throw these away, people. Keep the little boxes and stuff like that. Find out you can do little projects and stuff with them. So... Right here, we have 50 rounds in here, and you see this is 50 rounds. So if you do the math, you probably can get, I probably can get about two, 300 rounds in here, people. 350, probably can get more than that, all depends, stuff like that. And if you're doing 22, you can probably get a whole bunch of rounds in there. And so when you do this right here, now before you do that, you can mark, mark on the bag and stuff, you know, nine millimeter ammo, 115 grain, four metal jacket. And what I, what I normally do sometimes, you know, for long-term storage, just take off, just take these, the, the tab or the box or something off, if you want to do that, and just rip that off and throw it in there with it. That's a good way to um, pretty much to know what brand and stuff that you have in there. You know, once you do that, you know, put your little, your little desiccant bag, desiccant pack in there and stuff, and just kind of try to squeeze it. And what I normally do is squeeze it about a little way like that, and then I try to get all the air out by folding the bag. Get all the air as possible that we can out and fold it. And then I finish zipping it. So we can try to get all the air, squeeze all the air as possible. Now, I have seen people over time, they want to make as much room for their ammo cans and stuff that they want to put their um, ammo and stuff in and ammo cans that you see back here. Um, they'll take some tape and tape it up real tight so they can place it inside the, size of the ammo can or a container or whatever. That way they want they trying to get as use as much space as possible. So I've seen people do that and tape it up and stuff. And um also you can put your date up here, put the date that you stored it and you know and stuff like that. So that'll tell you how long this ammo is that you had you know that you put it you have been saving and putting up or whatever. But you know, that is all it is, people. That is all it's simple, very simple, it's not that hard. But there's a lot of creative ways that you can do this and to my you there's plenty of information it's, it's a lot i've seen people do a lot of things to store their ammo uh, to my i've seen people taking 22s and stuff like that putting them in plastic bottles and stuff um, to my doing some of every it, it it just it go on and on and on and you can come up with some very creative ways to store your ammo and stuff people but and also um i like to tell people this also don't forget these right here um you know any room that you're putting your ammo and stuff in um, you can put them in gun safes, all kinds of stuff, people, gun cabinets and stuff, um, moisture eliminator, people, um, trap excess moisture, eliminate tough odor, prevent water damage. Um, these things work. Um, it's awesome. Um, what it does, it sucks the 
moisture out, filter through here, and the water accumulates in here. So I've been talking about this for a long time. And like I said before, um, you know, it's more to ammo people. I know you're buying it and stuff like that, but there are so many people I talked to new and never thought about how to store the ammo or you got to do something to store it. So that is another thing that really keep pushing me to do these videos and stuff like that. Because a lot of people, I'm talking about just new, just came in trying to get some ammo, bought their first on farm and stuff like that. I have talked to many people and guess what? They never thought about storing the ammo. They just think, hey, you know, I just put it in my bag or something that's sick and I just stick it somewhere, you know, and they really never think that you have to store it a certain way. Now, everybody in the two-way community know that, but not everybody, people. So I, I try not to get complacent and I try not to get too far ahead of myself and stuff, especially when it comes to ammo or anything, farms and stuff like that. So much information that constantly, um, constantly just keep coming out and stuff, people. I'm talking about the headlines is full, full of some, uh, all kinds of stuff. So I want to do this video. I don't want to make it too long, but I want to get straight down to the core of ammo storage and ammo will go bad people until my i had some ammo some old ammo um that some of my relatives and stuff had had for a long time and guess what it was in the boxes and guess what the box was molded the ammo is all corroded and up to my it was bad it was just so bad and we went through some um some boxes and stuff that they had and we savaged some of the some of the ammo we saved but the majority of it, it just kept spreading and it, it was just it just horrible people so it, you know, and then ammo that they did take care of, it, it, it looked great and fine. So, you know, you're shooting 10, 15, 20 year, 30 year ammo and because you took care of it and stuff like that. So, I, you know, I want to tell people that, you know, the ammo you're buying now, you might not use it now, but you might want to use it down the road, three, four, five, six, seven years down the road. And it's, it's not far fetched. A lot of people think it's far fetched. And like I said, I talk to people all the time, you know, they're at the range and stuff. These guys are shooting 15, 20 year old ammo onto my and, and, and no no problem whatsoever. So, you know, and another one more thing before I get through um before I go on. Right here, um, if you buy some ammo who that has like a color, like some of them might have a made of green or reddish, it's like a uh, some type of like a lacquer or whatever the case may be, or something like that. Um, what it is, is a sealant. Um, this is to keep the primer and stuff, keep water from getting into the primer and stuff, because this is what pretty much ignite you, ignite the ammo to cause it to, you know, the, you know, to operate, to, to get that, uh, you know, that, that blast effect and everything. So, you know, lights the powder inside and shoots the bullet out the barrel. Um, you can do that very simple people. Um, hold on for a second. Up to my, you can do that yourself up to my, this is not the recommended color and stuff that I want you to use to, to do this, but some clear uh, fingernail polish will get you some green or something, whatever the case may be. You probably can do it with this. But um, a lot of people I've seen, and I have not done this, but, you know, you can do it if you want to. Look into it. It's more information out there. But, you know, take some, like, some fingernail polish or something and just go right across in here. That is sealed in there so, you know, it can be sealed in the water and stuff again. So if there's ammo out there that, that you buy that you buy that has that done, you know, done to it, you know, so a lot of, I'm just covering that just for case someone, you know, was wondering about that. So I'm just putting it on the radar and everything, but I seen people take clear fingernail polish or another color green or something and just put some, you know, put a little bit in it. Don't put a whole lot, but just enough to seal around here, the round the primer and stuff like that. So water and stuff won't get in, moisture won't get in that. So just want to throw that out there as a bonus, just in case that's on somebody's mind. So, um, just want to do that. So this is this channel guns and I catch you on the next one. This is DC channel guns like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.